So Gravity 2's sound engine has really sophisticated modulation capabilities. And they can be controlled by this macro sequence here, which I'll show you here in a second. And you'll see this reflected in this macro knob. So as I play... You'll see the knob go through, in this case, this rise and fall, which is what's set up for the macro sequence. And it's controlling, in this case, tone, drive, and motion. And for each of those, within tone, you've got filter and EQ. Drive, you've got saturation, distortion, and motion. You've got a volume gate and pitch. And I've gone ahead and set up this pulse here for the first channel. And right now, it's not doing anything. So if I were to play a note... It's traveling through the sequence. But it's not doing anything, as you can hear. It's not pulsing. And that's because I need to turn up this amount knob. So I can actually have that controlled by the macro knob as well. So I'm increasing the range that will be controlled by that macro sequence. So now when I play a note, pulsing fading in and out based on this ramp up and down for the macro sequence. So that's just one example of how all of these different modulation controls can be brought together to create really interesting, evolving, and animated sounds. So there's a lot in Gravity 2 that you can use to customize your sounds. Really incredible, really powerful sound engine that should keep composers and sound designers busy for a long, long time.